First, take out of all items from the package. There are manuals, monitor, camera, bracket, power cord, cigarette adapter, video cable, straps and T-taps. Take out the bracket. Loosen the screw. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Put it where you need it and tear off the protective film on the bottom of the bracket. And pull down the buckle, you can fix the bracket. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. The monitor extension cable has a DC connector and a 4-pin connector. Pick up the video cable. Connect one end of the video cable to the monitor's 4-pin connector. Pick up the camera. Remove the protective film from the camera before use. Connect one end of the video cable to the extension cable of the camera. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the red connector on the monitor extension cable. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button, the red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appear on the screen. This is a sensor. Hold the sensor with finger, you can see the IR light lights up. The IR light is on, the image is black and white. When the IR light is not on, the image is in color. The test finish. There is a thin white wire on the camera extension cable. The monitor is in mirror mode by default. If the thin white line is cut, the monitor will automatically switch to positive view. Now disconnect the wiring from the cigarette lighter. Connect the power cord to the monitor's DC connector. Connect the thin red wire to the positive of the fuse box, ACC, radio, ignition switch. Connect the thin black wire to the negative of the fuse box, ACC, radio, ignition switch. The monitor lights up and the image appear on the screen. Pick up the straps. Now here's how to use the strap to fix the camera. One end of the strap is sticky and the other end is plush. Pass the plush end of the strap through the hole behind the camera bracket. Wrap the straps around the seat and glue them together. The straps are elastic. The angle of the camera can be adjusted flexibly. Another strap can be passed behind the camera to hold the camera upright. There are three keys on the side of the display. Up key, M key, down key. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to adjust the brightness. Press the M key to switch to the contrast. Press the up or down key to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to switch to the saturation. Press the up or down key to adjust the saturation. Press the M key to switch to the language. Press the up or down key to select the language you need. Press the M key to switch to the reset. Now let's introduce the function of the reset key. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to adjust the brightness value to 100. Also adjust the contrast and saturation values to 100. Presses the M key to switch to the reset. Press the up or down key to turn on the reset function. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. 
The values of brightness, contrast, and saturation have been restored to factory settings. After a few seconds, the system automatically exits the menu mode. The process of connecting the system to the fuse box wire, ACC wire, radio wire, ignition switch wire. T-Tups T-Tups has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord plug the power cord into the second hole iron sheets clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom 